Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another executor for Roblox. And yes, this is currently working with the latest version of Bifront. Now, as always, I do recommend watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important download steps. And let's get right into it. First things first, as always, you need to disable your antivirus before downloading the actual executor. So if you're on Windows 11, come to the star icon right here. And if you're on Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection. Wait for that to open and go into manage settings. From here, go ahead and turn off real time protection. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now, you need to turn this off. Otherwise, you'll not be able to download the executor. So when you do click this, it's going to give you a little prompt. Go ahead and click on yes, and it will disable that for you. Once you've done that, close out of that and go into the first link in the description, which will be the download link for the executor. It will take you to this website right here. It won't be the same page. It will be the page for the video that you're currently watching. So from there, go ahead and click on the download button which will take you to this page right here. Now, if it doesn't take you to this page and it opens any other page, you can go ahead and close out of it and click this download link again. And if it takes you to another pop-up, you can close it again. And for the third time, it should take you to this landing page right here. From here, go ahead and complete this offer. If you don't know how to do it, you can jo join our Discord server and you can ask for help there. From here, go ahead and complete this offer. If you don't know how to do it, you can join our Discord server and ask for help there. And once you've done that, it will take you to this page right here. Again, go ahead and complete these steps and click unlock content, and that will take you to the final download page. From there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download the executor. For me, I'm gonna choose to download it on my desktop and click save. Once you do that, you can go back onto wherever you downloaded the executor. For me, it's on my desktop. So go ahead and double click the application and that will open up the download manager for you. From here, go ahead and click on next and it will give you a few different offers. It's completely up to you if you want to accept any of these. Um, so it's giving me a free VPN. So I'll go ahead and accept that. I already have this program, so I'll click decline and I'll also click decline on that one. So once you complete that, it will give you the download page so you can click on open and you can copy that link. And there we go. My VPN is also ready. That's perfect. Let me go ahead and close out of that. Um, make sure my IP is not showing anywhere. Okay, we're good. Um, so let's go ahead and copy the download link and go into the browser once again and paste it and that will give you the actual download for the executor and again I'm going to choose to download it on my desktop and click save now if for any reason it does block the download even if you have your antivirus off you simply want to hold down control and press J and that will open up your downloads folder from here you can go ahead and approve the file just like that another way of opening this folder is just clicking over here and clicking on downloads and that will also take you to this folder right here. Now, another thing I wanna point out is that this link will not work for everyone. You have to generate your own link. And yeah, that's pretty much how you get the download. Now going into the folder that we actually downloaded, let's go ahead and right click it and click extract all and click extract. And that should create a new folder for you now. For now, go ahead and close out of that and you can now delete everything else that you have on your desktop. So I'll go ahead and delete both of these, move that up. And yeah, so there we go. At this point, don't open the executor just yet. Go back into your virus and threat protection, back into manage settings, scroll down until you see add or remove exclusions. Go ahead and click on that. Click on add an exclusion and choose folder. From here, choose wherever you have your executor downloaded. For me, it's on my desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the folder just like that. Make sure you only single click it. If you've accidentally double clicked it, then click back and just make sure it's highlighted and click select folder. And that should be added into your exclusions just like this. You can see it right there. And you can go back at this point and you can turn on your real-time protection if you wish to. Now at this point, you will be ready to open up your executor. So go ahead and open up the folder again and double click the bootstrapper. It will ask you to generate a key. So I will go ahead and show you how to actually get the key before we get into the actual setup of the executor. Once you open the executor, it will ask you to get a key. I will show you how to get a key. So make sure you follow the steps correctly. From here, go ahead and click on get key and that should open up a new tab for you. From here, click on start doing the key system and that will take you to the link vertize key system page. From here, let the page load and click on free access with ads and it will take you to this little window right here. From here, go ahead and click on I am interested and click whatever option it gives you right here. You don't have to do the actual offer. You can close out of it and click I have already completed this step. And that will take you to the next checkpoint. So it says you're almost there and it will automatically load the next checkpoint. And you have to do the same thing again. So click on free access with ads and it doesn't matter what ad it gives you. Just click on I am interested. Click this uh, thing right here and close it. And then it will give you this option to continue. And once you click that, 
um, for the second time, it will give you the key. You can copy the key by clicking right here and going back to executor, pasting the key in, or you can also right click and click paste and click approve key. And that should let you into the executor. Now, I do want to mention that you guys will not be able to use the same key as me. So a lot of people do try doing that. I just want to point out that everyone has to get their own key and the key will last for 24 hours. So after 24 hours, you have to do this step again and get a new key. But that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to get the actual key for the executor. Now, at this point, we're ready to use the executor. So let's go ahead and open up the executor, double click it. And if it does give you a little prompt, you can go ahead and click on more info, which will be at the top. Now, when you do click it and it says malicious file, you don't have to worry about that at all, guys. It's completely safe. So go ahead and click on the little more info that you will see on that little prompt and you'll be able to click run anyway. And that should open up the file just like that. Go ahead and click on next and click accept EULA. And at this point, it's completely up to you if you want to join the Discord server. I'm just going to click on no thanks. And you have to exclude comment from the Microsoft um, antivirus. So of course, we've already done that. So we'll go ahead and click on exclude. And that's fine. And it will start downloading the actual executor for us. It will take a couple of seconds. Now, if it's your first time using it, of course, it will ask you to get a key as well. So let's go ahead and click on enter comment. Go ahead and wait for that to load. Here we go. Perfect. And you can see they've got a pretty nice uh, animation there as well. And you can see from the first impression, it sort of looks like a simple UI design, but they do have this menu right here where you can actually also search for your own scripts. So if you want an Arsenal script or if you want a script for any other game, you can search it right here, which is pretty cool. You can also go into settings right here and change your username. So for example, I've changed mine to Serenity. So it says, hello, Serenity, just there. And of course, you can also refresh. So if there's any sort of bugs or anything happening, you can sort of just refresh it. Um, and here are some more scripts that you can actually search from the script box as well. Now, going into the actual folder for the executor, you can see that they've got the scripts tab right here. And this is where the scripts come from. So you can actually put your own scripts in here and you'll be able to access them quickly just by doing that. So you can just click it and click execute. And that's pretty much how the scripts work. Now, they also have auto execute, as you can see right here. So they have an FPS unlocker in there by default. And yeah, so if you want to auto execute any sort of scripts, you can throw them in there and that will automatically execute them. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the game and show you how to use the executor. Of course, you will have to use the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. So go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store and search for Roblox over here. And of course, go ahead and click on play. And there we go. So you can see it's loaded me in. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on inject. It will take a couple of seconds. And there we go. And you can see that um, it's given me a notification right there to show me that it has injected successfully. And it has also highlighted up, which is a pretty unique feature. I like this a lot. Um, so it's pretty much you can see the blue border uh, glow to it. And that pretty much means that it's injected. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into Arsenal and show you how to use the actual executor. And you can see it says that this executor is powered by Flux Team and it has injected in the bottom left corner as well. So let me go ahead and grab my own script and try to use that right here. There we go, guys. We've loaded into the game. Let me go ahead and click on execute for the script. And you can see it's working perfectly fine. Um, and there we go. So, so the visuals and everything has already loaded. My settings have already saved and traces are also working. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use the executor. Of course, you can grab your own script. And throw it in here and click execute for any game that you want another question that i get asked a lot is how do you open a new tab so you just simply click this right here and you can open and close tabs just like that and yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys hopefully you did like it if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching